What's up guys, quick app review for you on a much anticipated application. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing the Opera Mini browser uh, for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Now uh, this is a browser that's on the computer also, which I've actually never used, uh, but I've heard good things about it. I just actually haven't never got around to trying it out. But I have to say, the browser, the Opera Mini browser on the iPhone is amazing. And uh, it's definitely going to replace my Safari browser. So let's go ahead and open it up. It is a free download. I'll have a link uh, below this video if you'd like to download it. So here we go. We got the application open. Let's zoom in just a tad bit so you can see this a little better. All right, there we go. So here on the uh, home page, or your, I guess the tabs page, you're going to call it. Uh, we've got one, two, three. We got nine tabs uh, where you can basically it's just quick links where you can tap it and it'll go and load directly to a website, and you can set that whatever you want. Um, here I've got Twitter, Google AdSense, uh, YouTube, uh, my other YouTube channel, Apple, Google, and Mashable, and that's the only ones I've got. But the, you can use these quick links. All you got to do is tap on one. Uh, you can fill in your your address that you want, or you can go through uh, the address, addresses that you've been to before to add them. Uh, we've got the forward and back buttons. We've got tabs, and I actually loaded up these, and I loaded up, I think, 15 tabs, and I could keep making more and more. So I'm not sure the limit on tabs that you can make on this, but it's definitely a lot because it would keep it kept letting me do it. I was like, all right, I'm just going to say you can put a lot of tabs uh, while I was playing around with it. So all you got to do to switch between tabs is click on it. Uh, say we want to load up Twitter. Then we want to go to a new tab. We want to load up uh, YouTube. Then we're going to go to a new tab, we just hit over the side, and then say we wanted to go to Google. And that's basically how the tabs work, and you can switch between them, and uh, that's how it works. Now let's look at the uh, some of the settings of it. Uh, hit the settings button. We've got bookmarks. Let's go ahead and tap that. Uh, you can, like when you're on a website, if you would like to add a site uh, to your bookmarks, you just hit add Twitter. As you see, it's on there. Uh, you can add that to your bookmarks, like go to the site and then open up the bookmarks tab and hit add Twitter. Uh, you can manage it, hit the trash can to delete it, yes, confirm it, and yeah, I'm just going to go back through that. So that's your bookmarks. Uh, we've got history. You can browse through all of your history that you've been to. Uh, you can clear it out by hitting the clear button. I'm not going to do that because I want to keep it for this review. Uh, you can go to your start page which takes you back to all your quick links uh, we've got saved pages which basically I don't really understand the point of that if you want to bookmark sorry hit my camera there if you want to bookmark your page you're probably going to want to save the page it's basically the same thing if you go to mean uh, but works the same way as bookmarks uh, we've got settings let's take a look at those uh, you can set to load images on or off that helps web pages load faster uh, you can set your image quality to low medium or high I've got mine set to high. I'm just going to go back. Uh, you can set the font size, so if you need glasses or you're, you're bad at reading on the iPhone, hurt your eyes or something, you can make the fonts bigger. Uh, we've got mobile view, which this is a great, great feature right here because I hate when YouTube will load up uh, in the mobile site and I don't want it to. Uh, and it definitely comes in handy. You can just hit the button and uh, it'll do it for you. Uh, so we can turn that on and off. Uh, we can turn on and off full screen, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, we can turn off Opera Link. Uh, this is like a, a thing, as I said, I've never used Opera before. Uh, but this is a thing where you can link up to all of your accounts and address books and stuff like that with Opera. Uh, I'm not going to get into that because I have no really, I have really no idea about that. Uh, we've got Privacy. You can set it to remember passwords. That's another good thing about this. Uh, this browser is it will actually remember your passwords unlike the Safari browser. Uh, you can accept cookies, you can clear history, clear passwords, clear cookies. So let's just go back and then we've got advanced which will let you change the protocol and the uh, start page links on or off. So that's basically the settings of it. We'll go back and now we do have uh, mobile view turned on and full screen on. I'm going to turn mobile view off for now. You guys know what mobile view is. It's basically just loading up sites in their, their uh, mobile site to fit the iPhone. But I am going to leave full screen on. Now let's go back to the settings again. Uh, it's got a find in page uh, option. So let's go ahead and click on one of the tabs that we've got open. Uh, we'll go to YouTube. Okay. And we'll go to settings and then find in page. And basically what it's going to do is just bring up the keyboard and we can search the page for something. Let's search. Uh, I'm just going to search comments. 
because I know that's on the page. And then you hit next, and then you see it drags you down to your uh, comments. And then if you hit next, it's going to bring you to the next place where it says comments. So that's basically how it works. It's just fine in page, a uh, pretty good feature. Uh, and then we've got help. Uh, and that's just links to learn more about Opera. Uh, so it does, it saves passwords. Uh, the zooming in, like the zooming in on it, uh, you've got to like double tap. Now it looks kind of weird when it does it. You can pinch in, and then when you pinch out again, it's going to zoom out. I don't really like that about it. I would like to be able to zoom in on the thing and like zoom in a little bit more if I'd like to, but it zooms you right back out. Uh, you can double tap. It kind of does a quick little zoom in, as you see, and a quick little zoom out. It works pretty good, actually, though. I guess it's just something I get used to, but oh my god, I love this browser right here. It's so much better than Safari. Uh, it's faster. It's so many more, like, this so featured. It's everything that the iPhone browser needs to have. Uh, and it's just amazing. And that's the full screen view if you see. Okay, there was full screen view. We just hit this button to bring back up the menu. And that's basically how the application works. We got a little refresh button right here. Uh, it's basically like any other browser where we got the address bar up here at the top and uh, the Google search bar. And uh, yeah, it's it's an awesome browser. Hopefully I covered everything. Uh, check it out. It is free in the App Store. This is definitely uh, going to replace my Safari browser. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Goodbye, Safari browser and hello opera so thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this if you did uh please be sure to rate this video uh or like this video sorry and uh leave me some comments below tell me what you think about the new opera browser as i said look below the video and you'll get a download link for it uh please if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of my videos click the little subscribe button above this video and uh, i would appreciate that so thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video peace out